Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to be opening up the Painting Center. I'm so excited to see what you decide to create and your wonderful ideas in the Painting Center this year. So let's learn about the Painting Center or review the Painting Center for everyone. Painting is back in the back of the classroom along with our three sinks. We have messy mats that you should use anytime you're painting, or if you're doing a messy glue project, you can use a messy mat. I prepare my space with a messy mat, and then I always am thinking about an idea. What am I going to draw? What is my painting going to look like today? The painting paper you're gonna to want to use when you're ready to make a nice painting is in the orange box. This is the painting paper. So I'm going to take a piece of painting paper and I'm thinking and I'm thinking, what is my idea today? What do I want to create? Maybe I want to make a, uh, a maybe I want to make a, a ghost, a funny ghost. I'm gonna put him this way. I'm gonna make a silly ghost and he's going to have some big eyes and he's going to have a big, wavy line. I love ghosts because they don't have to have a specific shape. They can look however you want it to look. Oh, and my ghost is going to be happy because I like happy. He's going to be looking up at the sky. So there is my ghost and maybe I'll think of some other ideas. But I'm going to get started collecting my paint supplies. I love it when you have an idea because then it helps us to not waste our supplies and our paper, which we only have so much of. These are our paints. You may choose one type of paint. Do not take all of them. You don't need them. You have one hand you're going to be painting with, with your brush. So just select one type and you may always sit next to someone and share. I'm going to borrow these paints today. These are paints along with these that will need water to wake them up. So these are some paints I'm going to try today. I'm gonna to walk myself down to get a cup of water. The water should only be half full. And then I'm going to select a paintbrush. I'm gonna take the paintbrush and my water and my paint back to my area. Now, if I change my mind, I can always take these back and collect a different type of paint, but you should only have one kind of paint at a time. You can only use one type of paint at a time. If you look at the paints, you'll see that there's two little knobs on this end and a little bump on this end. Whoops. This is the side you open the paints up from. So I am going to press and pull this part open. Yeah, they're a little messy. They have been well loved. We love to paint in the art room and messy paints doesn't mean that they don't work. So I like to wake up my paints by putting my water on my paintbrush, just give it a little dip and a little wipe. Now my ghost, I think, is actually going to be a very silly ghost. He's going to be, or maybe I'm gonna paint the background first. Think about those things first. What am I gonna do? Hmm, I think I'm gonna paint the background. I am just painting, I'm petting the, the paint with my brush. I am not digging, I am not pushing. No, 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 just a little pet, like you're petting a dog or a cat. And then I'm gonna try it out. Oh, that's a very, very bright color. I think I want it a little lighter, so I'm gonna add more water to my paintbrush. And I'm gonna go around my lines, and I'm going to paint off to the edge of my paper. And I'm gonna move my paintbrush gently. My paintbrush should not be squishing down like that. Oh, that makes your paintbrush so sad, so please don't do that. Make sure your paintbrush is painting like she's up on her tippy toes. Painting up on your tippy toes. She's dancing. Our paintbrush is moving around like a little dancer. I like to go around my shapes and that way I know that I don't have to be as careful to not paint on my little white ghost here. But you don't have to paint a ghost. This is just Mrs. Miller's example. You know that when you're in art class, you're the artist, right? You get to choose what kind of art you want to make. Maybe you want to make Pokemon, or maybe you wanna make something totally different. This is your chance to create. So you get to decide. I paint my painting. I'm gonna keep going, painting very gently. I'm not scrubbing my paper. I'm just adding my color. Maybe I wanna add another. Ooh, I'm gonna 
Now that I clean my brush, stomp, 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 wipe, 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 I'm going to collect a new color. My paintbrush is clean, and I'm just gonna give my paint just a little pet, pet, a little more water. Pet, 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 wake up that paint a little. Again, don't dig. Don't dig in the paint, they don't need it. I'm gonna add some blue swirls just for fun, just to add some little bit of movement, a little bit of texture in my painting. And it almost looks like he's moving now with that little swirl. Yeah, have some fun with adding another kind of color in your paint, see what happens. Now, I'm gonna let this dry because I wanna have you guys have a chance to get started soon, but I forgot something important on my painting. What did I forget? It's not the eyes, I'm gonna do that later. I didn't forget that, it's not the eyes or the mouth. I forgot my name. Ah, Mrs. Miller forgot her name. I'm gonna look for a spot on my paper. Uh, this spot is a little bit more dry. I'm not gonna turn my paper over because I don't want to smush and mess up my painting. So I'm gonna just write my name, finding a dry corner. But oh my goodness, my friends, please write your name first. First thing you should do is write your name and Mrs. Miller forgot. It's the like most important rule when you're painting is to write your name and I forgot it. Ah! So remind each other, remind your friends, think to yourself, what's the first thing I need to do? Write my name. Oh my goodness, Mrs. Miller, I can't believe you forgot. I'm gonna take my painting very carefully to the drying rack and I'm gonna make sure that it's sitting on at least two of the little racks here. I don't want it to fall through. So I'm gonna slide it in. If there's not room on top, we slide it in its own little rack. You guys are gonna look for second grade if you're in second grade. If you're in first grade, you're gonna look for your tag here. Any grade you are, you all have your own drying rack so that we can keep track of where your paintings are. When I'm done painting or you know it's time to clean up, you don't wait. You bring your things to clean up right away. We take our things, we take our whole tray to the sink. I put my paints back. I pour out my water, I get some fresh water. Half full is all it needs. I'm gonna just take this back over here. I'm gonna clean out my paintbrush real quick. Put your fingers in it to get the paint out and then set it flat on the tray. Yep, the water is back and then I can just take my tray and put it back where the trays go and make sure that I've turned off the water. Perfect. I go back and put away my messy mat and then I check to see that my table area is nice and clean. If my table area is a little bit messy after I put everything away, my table should be totally empty. If your table has a mess, you can come over and get a rag from the white bucket and give just this area a little wipe. You're not giving the table a bath. You are just giving it a little cleanup so that the next class that comes in will have a nice clean table to use. We wanna take care of our art studio. So my friends, this is just the basics of using our painting center. I hope you make a beautiful painting today or start a beautiful painting. You can always work on something again next week if you don't finish today. And we'll learn lots about different ways of painting and different techniques and styles you can use this year in art. We're gonna go ahead and get started very soon.